Welcome back. Now, we discussed this earlier in the week, but Mariah Carey has made some shocking Ooh. claims in her new book Ooh. that she was never physically intimate with her ex fiance Aussie billionaire James Packer. Many say she's lying, but if it is true, is it possible to have a relationship with somebody without getting physical? Relationship expert Dr Wendy Walsh joins us to unpack all of this for us. Wendy, thanks so much for joining us. Do you think couples need to be intimate with each other in order to call it a relationship? Absolutely not. The famous love researcher, Dr. Robert Sternberg, said that there are three kinds of love. There's passion or lust, there's intimacy, emotional intimacy, and there's commitment, like an intellectual commitment. So if they were engaged, they had the commitment. We don't know about the emotional intimacy, and they may not have had the lust. You can have one, two, or three of those people, of those aspects of love, and still call yourself a relationship. Hmm. Uh, you know, Dr. Wendy, there are allegations at the time that Mariah was, have, Mariah was having an affair with one of her backup dancers. But let's say you're in a relationship. Um, is that still cheating if you are in a relationship that is the, the dynamic sexually is uneven? Oh, who is the judge of cheating mm. out there? I mean, sometimes private messages on Facebook are a kind of cheating. Uh, look, the truth is... Uh, couples who are healthy have good sexual communication um, and, you know, being able to express what your sexual wants or desires are to your partner and having your partner help is one thing. But you also can never blame one partner because another partner has sexual behavior outside of the relationship. So it's not your job to keep that person sexual actually satisfied as a partner. It's your job to invest in the relationship as far as communication and sexual behavior, but that's investing in the relationship. And everybody's in charge of their own boundaries. Are there some cases where couples should ditch the physical altogether? Well, I never like the word should, mm -hmm. but there are times of our lives where people may have less or no sex. For instance, when couples are during the very vulnerable and busy years of a pregnancy, nursing and raising small children, sex can sometimes be put on the back burner. Or when a couple is aging and their love falls into mature companionate love, uh, they may not have sex as grandparents, but they're definitely still a relationship. Also across the lifespan, one partner may get ill, there may be a disability and sex may not be possible, but that doesn't mean you can't touch hold hands, hug, kiss, love, get all that oxytocin and dopamine that you need to keep the bond alive. Uh, let's talk about uh, exes. And this is always a topic that comes up every mm. couple of years here. But should we erase them from our lives or is that an unhealthy approach? Well, it really depends on how much work you've done. In other words, if you've chosen this ex way back when because you sort of need them to work out some of your early childhood conflicts, and now when you see them, it triggers you all over again, then you haven't really grown or done the work, right? Um, sometimes after a time has passed and people have healed and they've gotten into different relationships, they can become friends as long as it doesn't threaten the current relationship. What is the best way to get over an ex? Do you need to completely cut them off initially? Well, I used to joke and say the best way to get over somebody is to get under somebody else. <laughs> but the truth is, you really need to. The truth is, you really need to go to therapy because you know what? You chose that person. And unless you figure out what it was about that person that you need, why you needed them, then you're going to keep choosing the same kind of person over and over. They'll drive a different car, they'll wear a different color shirt, but they'll be the same person. So I think relationships are a gymnasium for our minds. We're always trying to work out stuff. So going to therapy to figure out what your piece of it was is very important. Well, Dr. Wendy, sage advice as always. We'll see you soon. See you soon.